The British in Iraq began their long-awaited farewell to arms by honoring each one of their fallen over the past six years. The UK lost many more lives occupying southeast Iraq than during the invasion itself. Violence as Shia militants fought for control of the potentially oil-rich city caused most of the 179 fatalities, each individually commemorated. O.M. Seymour, Royal Navy, 21st of March 2003. Lieutenant P.D. Green, Royal Navy, 22nd of March 2003. Lieutenant A.R. King, Royal Navy, 22nd of March 2003. Lieutenant Every name was heard in a memorial Navy, service at British headquarters. It was a long roll of honour, with losses saluted in turn by a comrade from each unit. The very act of calling by name is a potent one. Each name is unique and each name tells a story. The story of a son or a daughter, a husband or a wife, a father or a mother. These are the true cost of the war. If a peace so hard won can be preserved depends increasingly on the Iraqi army and whether the militants have really been defeated or abiding their time until the foreigners have gone, leaving only monuments behind. At the end, a minute's silence to remember the fallen and reflect on at least 100,000 Iraqis also believed to have died. The only comfort, perhaps, that from such loss has emerged a democracy, albeit still fragile. When it came to it, a simple handshake sealed the effective end of Britain's most controversial foreign war for 50 years. The lowering of the flag of the Army's 20th Armoured Brigade brought an end to UK combat operations in Iraq a month ahead of schedule. This year, 2009, is the year when Multinational Corps Iraq will focus on training the Iraqi Police Service and the Department for Border Enforcement. Uh, those two organisations need to be brought up to the same standards as the Iraqi Army. Our job here is to train 14th Iraqi Army Division, which we've done. They're a capable, competent, professional counterinsurgency division. American forces have now moved south to deploy in an area assigned to Britain since the outset of the war over six years ago. A piper's lament ended the ceremony that itself closed a chapter of history. The arguments over the rights and wrongs of Britain joining this war will continue long after the last troops are safely home. <laughs>